All right, we got a complaint here of low power steering fluid on this Honda. And uh, I guess the owner was driving the vehicle and making turns and could hear a bunch of whining coming from the from the power steering pump, I'm sure is what it was. And they came out and they saw their fluid was almost to the bottom of the reservoir. Now they brought it over for me to check out and I, I did uh, check the fluid real quick. It was all the way to the bottom. So I topped it off just so I could pull it into the garage. And I was turning it back and forth, trying to see if I could find any power steering dumping out. No leaks. I can't see anything real quick. So let's go over the vehicle, see if we can find what's leaking. Because obviously, the power steering fluid had to go somewhere. So let's see if we can figure it out. Now, this is your power steering pump right here on these older systems. And um, a lot of times, they'll leak out of the um, seals that are internal in here. And you'll see it seeping out of the sides here. I've had to rebuild these. Not necessarily in this model, especially older ones that have to be rebuilt, but it seems like it's common on all the models. The power steering eventually, those seals get hard as a rock and you got to tear it apart and replace them. It's not that big a deal, but a little bit time consuming. Um, there's also O-rings, you know, inside these uh, fittings, especially the feed line here. So we want to make sure we don't see any fluid anywhere. And you can see this is all bone dry. There's nothing here. And then th these lines, these power steering lines on the feed side, they're under a lot of pressure. And uh, they tend to leak a lot, especially at these crimps. Right here, right here. And uh, so we want to look around, see if I can get a light. And we'll just follow the line around. Then it goes across the bottom there and goes over to the rack where it connects right down right there where the tip of my flashlight is right down in there and you can see it's all dry I don't see anything nothing out of the ordinary let's go into the bottom of the car and actually before we go uh, down to the bottom of the car we can look at the return side the hoses you see this one goes right here where my flashlight is it goes straight down make sure we don't see any leaks and you can see it it runs right along the side of the vehicle right there right straight down where the tip of my flashlight is it runs straight along the bottom there and I don't see anything now one of the quickest ways to find a leak let's look at the bottom here and see where it's coming out of usually you'll find a puddle on your driveway or garage or whatever you can see I had this thing for running for a little bit turning the steering wheel left and right Obviously, once I put the power steering fluid back in, it wasn't making any noise, so that's good. I don't think there was any damage done, but I don't see any power steering fluid dumping out. And now that I'm under the vehicle looking up, I can see there's an oil leak right there, but that's not power steering. That's engine oil. I'll have to check that out also, but it's definitely not what we're looking for right now. And if you look, you can see this cross member right here right in front of me this thing right here the power steering lines are right on top of that so if it's gushing out we should see some remnants of a leak under here I don't see anything and if we look over here you can look at the back side of where the connections are I don't, everything looks bone dry. You can see here's our uh, tie rod, tie rod ends, and a big, big time uh, issue is when they're leaking right in the seal right in here. This one looks dry. Normally, if it's leaking, it'll start gushing out of the boot here. It'll fill this boot up and then come out. But I don't see anything on this side. And looking at the passenger side. Houston, we have a problem. We found the leak. There it is, right there. It looks like the seal where the inner tie rod goes into the rack. Yep, pretty good leak too. Uh, pretty common on these. Uh, if you own a Honda for any length of time, you're probably going to have a seal leaking right there. Um, there are kits that you can buy to repair them. I don't do that. We just replace the whole rack. And I prefer to use a Honda rack because I found that the aftermarket ones are garbage. And if you're going to do all that work, you don't want to have to do it again a second time because the rack you put in was garbage. So 
this is an expensive repair right here well there you go it's all over but the crying now that's how I go about searching for a power steering leak um, I only recommend using Honda power steering fluid using aftermarket power steering fluid can definitely cause these leaks and cause the seals to go bad so I'm not a fan of using that stuff when it comes to power steering system in general I like to only use Honda stuff because they're finicky and aftermarket stuff sometimes doesn't play nice with it and hey as always if you like the video it helped you out make sure to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching all right a little bit of bonus footage I'll bring you under here brand new Honda power steering rack as you can see there you can see over here on the other side where it was leaking all good to go and the oil leak is fixed any guesses on uh, what the problem was and a fresh oil change you can see a brand new filter there and of course all the old power steering fluids gone got brand new Honda power steering fluid in there now and as always thanks for watching thanks for sticking around to the end of the video